I really want to get people inside negative spaces. This is negative space or the triangle inside the letter A. It's the gap between your head and your shoulder. This is the way I, I see things. There's so many spaces that are alive. I call it positive space, actually. I don't know why it's such a negative name. I felt all the time that I really need to feel it physically, the, the negative space. And the machine, the dog, is, is, is actually another stage of my exploration in, in negative space, which actually allow people to, to create it physically. People will come to the gallery, will choose which paper that they want. They can choose three different papers and then they can cut them and mix them, they can mix materials. So it's, it's really a celebration of making negative space um, active and alive. The dog is actually, it's, it's development of the cover of my, my book, which was dog that eating a cat and cat that eat a mouse. And that was my reaction to, you know, it's Darwin and it's everything in life that the strong survives. I'm so busy with, with my personal and commissioned work and that the London Design Festival really kind of gave me this kind of deadline and, and umbrella to create it. It's almost like some kind of holiday that you prepare your your house to the holiday or you know and everyone around it kind of preparing to the moment and there's some kind of celebration around it. I came here straight from college. I saw Zweimer which now it's Magma. It was a book a bookstore in Covent Garden that specialized in, in graphic design. It's amazed me like the whole store for graphic design you know did something that I never seen in Israel. I came here just you know just for Again, experiment, you know, and then things evolve and I'm here, so. There's some kind of Israeli spirit of innovation and it's their spirit of improvising because there's nothing in the country and then you need to build things. The artistic skills mixed with the ex-army guy that, you know, used to hold weapon for three years and sit with, sleep with M16 under his head. I remember myself all my life, if it was from the army or school, I had pencil, spray, paint, it was there. And it saved me a lot of time in the army and a lot of um, difficult moments. I did caricatures of my commanders and things like that, and, and, and a lot of time it, that was my, the pen was my weapon in a way. For example, Saddam Hussein was a discovery when I was 17, you know, it was sitting in a shelter, with gas mask on my face and seeing this radioactive symbol and I did a drawing around it. Suddenly I saw the moustache and the eyebrows and, and then it becomes Saddam's portrait. There will be another book which I can't uh, talk about it right now. I can say that it's going to be about sex and relationship, love and hate and all the good things that are around relationship. And, but again, in my, in my way. I love the moment of that something is there and is not there. You are with someone that you really love and then you're not. And someone is alive and after a second is dead. So this kind of contrast in life that we have between something existed and not existed it really stimulates my mind, really fascinates me and, and made my pen start to work.